I came to work along the West Side Highway and come to the park at 9 o'clock and wanted to be a car in the middle of the garden. Not only would you not come up here at night, you wouldn't come up here during the day. Yeah, it was a disaster. The neighbors along the park began to realize that if they didn't do something to save the park, nothing was going to happen. Hi, I'm Stanley Zabar. Uh, my brother Saul Zabar and I own Zabar's. I'd like to talk about my friend David Goldstein. Good afternoon, shoppers. If you're looking for something special to serve this weekend, Zabar's is featuring their delicious block de foie gras. I'd like to introduce you directly to my friend David Goldstein. In 1990, when I retired from the practice of law, Stanley said, David, you're too young to retire without doing something. Stanley was on the board of the original Riverside Park fun. I said, wait a minute. I said, I'm on the Riverside Park uh, 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 board of directors. Stanley knew I was an avid gardener. He loved to garden. And I said, sure. So Stanley said, you know, we have a Warsaw Ghetto Memorial that has five beds that really needs care. Why didn't you come in and take care of it? You, you had to be blind not to realize how bad the rest of the park was. David Goldstick was the perfect volunteer. He propagated his own plants, and he brought them, and he put them in the park, and he prepared the soil. And you could see that he was doing it with love. He's actually established an amazing garden in this area. My garden's about three and a half acres. It wasn't three and a half acres when I started. Every year, I would just add a few feet by moving towards 79th Street. We're moving towards 86th Street. What we think magically appears here actually is the result of tremendous work that he does. He's here every day, every season. He's here in the wintertime. He's, he's here in the coldest weather. I wouldn't be anyplace else. It's really a lot of fun. He represents what is the best about this conservancy and what the conservancy is really all about. David Goldstick, you are a gem. I love your garden so much, so thank you for all that you do. Let's see delicious herring from Holland. David, thank you very much for being David, for being my friend. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. David, I can't thank you enough for all you've done for Riverside Park, and I'm especially a huge fan of your hellebores. And now it's up to us to roll up our sleeves, to take what we have, these jewels, and, and cherish them and maintain them. To make sure that every block, every mile of this great park truly is magnificent. A functioning and beautiful park system can be taken for granted. You've got to work to support it, you've got to work to maintain it, and you've got to work to keep it the beautiful place it is. We have to realize that we're the ones that have to take care of it. If we don't cultivate it and care for it, we're going to lose it. There is a level of engagement you get when you participate in the life of the park, when you volunteer or you coach a team or you raise some money for the playground. That relatively small amount of effort pays huge dividends. Without the park, we'll have more chaos in the world, I think so. With your help, we are going to deliver a great, great, magnificent park from 59th Street up to 181st Street, and I look forward to working with you. Gardening is not a beginning and end. Just like life really isn't like a beginning and end. It's a continuation. I will be leaving here eventually. And for those of you who will be replacing me in this park, I have one piece of very important advice for you. Please do not overwater the azaleas.